Uh, I know we're starting just a few minutes late. Uh, we are time constrained today, so we will continue to uh, deconflict uh, issues with uh, with the Taliban, and we will stay focused on securing uh, the uh, the airfield. We cannot afford to either not defend that airfield or or, or not have an airfield that's secure where we have hundreds or thousands of civilians uh, that can access uh, uh, the airfield at will and put our forces at risk. Well, we're going to do everything we can to uh, continue to try to uh, deconflict uh, and and create uh, uh, passageways for them to get to the airfield. Because I don't have the capability to go out and, and extend operations currently into, uh, into uh, Kabul. Do you have the capability to go out and collect Americans? We don't have the capability to go out and collect up large uh, numbers of, of, uh, of people. We're really working hard uh, to get as many people through uh, as possible. And quite frankly, we're not, we're, it's, it's obvious, we're not close to where we want to be in terms of getting the numbers through. So we're going to work that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we're going to get everyone uh, that we can possibly uh, evacuate, evacuate it. And I'll do that as long as we possibly can until the clock runs out or we run out of capability. The time frame of a rapid collapse, that was widely estimated and ranged from weeks to months and even years following our departure. There was nothing that I or anyone else saw that indicated a collapse of this army and this government in 11 days.